let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about emergency cooling. We're going to talk about how to cool down your greenhouse fast. If you wind up in a heat wave, which right now, where I live, we're in a heat wave. I mean, our heat waves aren't as bad as Arizona or Texas or any of the places down south that get some serious heat. We look at about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius as a heat wave, but that inside a greenhouse can run over 40 degrees Celsius, upwards 42, 43 in my greenhouse, and that's a problem. You can't grow your plants sustainably long term. Well, you can, but they're not going to grow well if you're pushing over 40 degrees Celsius. So what do you do if you need to immediately cool down your greenhouse on a budget really fast, really cheap? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Simple Tech. That's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing. You can check out after you look at this one. Our archives show tons and tons of videos. We have dozens and dozens and dozens of them now talking about greenhouses, structure, how to build them, how to heat them, how to cool them, how to water them, and do it all on the cheap. So if you want to check out some cool stuff and you're interested in greenhouses, you need to subscribe and maybe even hit the bell because that'll tell you when the new stuff's coming after you've gone through all the old stuff, but that's going to take some serious amount of time. Oh, and hit like too. Misters use water to cool down your plants, but they don't just spray large goblets or, or fire hose amounts of water all over your plants. They spray a very fine mist, and some might even call it a fog, and there's a very specific reason for that. When I was in Las Vegas over 10, well, just under 10 years ago, I got married at this time of year, and it's hot in Vegas this time of year. It's July. So the outside patio where we had our reception had misters, and it sprayed this very fine mist into the air. Now, the water coming out of it wasn't very cold. The water coming out of your tap on cold in Vegas isn't exactly 2 or 3 degrees. It's, it's almost you know, 20, 25 degrees. So why would this mist, this water sprayed onto us, and it's just pure water, so it actually sprays onto people in tuxedos and wedding gowns and all that. Why does it make you cool? Well, there's a trick that happens. There's a, a chemical, it's not a chemical, it's actually a phase change. And what happens is when water turns to gas, it grabs heat from the environment to do this and it grabs a lot of heat from the environment to do this. So when the sun's beating down on you and you're wet, you're going to evaporate off the water a lot quicker. And this evaporation is a phase change and it takes a lot of energy out of your skin or out of whatever it's on to let that water go from water to water vapor or gas. So the phase change is what's actually cooling you with a mister. So to get a phase change and to facilitate it to work better, you want the smallest water particle you possibly can. So a mister is a little nozzle that's designed to turn regular tap water from a hose into a very fine mist or fog so that when that fog lands on your skin or on your plant, it draws heat from the skin or the plant to cool it. And believe it or not, this actually works. If you're going to buy a mister system with little nozzles that are coming off the roof or going in the bottom of the plants to spray fog or fine mist all over the place to reduce your temperature, timers are an important thing to look at. Um, now, manual timers, of course, work, but you've got to actually stay with a mister system. It's a little more delicate because if you're cloudy, you're really not going to need it. If it's cooler that day, you're not going to need it. If the sun comes out later in the afternoon and heats it up, you got to watch it. So what I'm going to recommend is getting a timer that has a little computer in it for an, an app that comes to your phone for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So you can monitor it with alarms that automatically turn on these misters for five minutes or whatever in increments that will cool your greenhouse, but you don't have to think about anything because automated makes your life a lot better. And a lot of us, our greenhouse isn't our primary income. I mean, we got other jobs, we got other things to do, we got kids to take care of, we gotta go shopping, we gotta, there's a million other things in life that you have to do than watch your greenhouse 24 seven. So if you have automated systems that are cheap, 
your life's going to be a lot better and you're going to have much better food. There's a few different types of misters you can buy. You can actually buy kits that attach to your garden hose and they'll have multiple nozzles and some of them have set distances. Other ones you can actually make the, the hose. They punch into the hose at whatever place you want them to and puts the misters exactly where you want so it puts the fine water mist or fog into your room or greenhouse or whatever you want cooled down exactly where you want it. Now this works great and these things aren't super expensive. I mean I just bought one for the $30 range from Amazon and it has got all kinds of nozzles and it works great. Although you do need you got to manually turn it on and off or you need to get a water timer. Now water timers are not that expensive they're 20 30 bucks as well but what's even nicer is I got a Bluetooth water timer which is a little cheaper than the Wi-Fi ones and it allows me through my phone on an app to turn my misters on and off at specific times or if they hit specific alarms for temperature which will drop the temperature the, the mister when it turns on will drop the temperature in the greenhouse and make it much healthier for my plants to live and breathe and survive and grow now that's all fine and dandy but if you suddenly wind up in an emergency situation where you have to cool down your greenhouse there's a, a quick fix most hose nozzles have a fine mist spray on them and if you have a greenhouse i'm willing to bet you got a hose in there or you have some sort of watering system so if you can change your hose nozzle to the fine mist spray you've suddenly got a mister and you can manually spray that around on your plants on your plant leaves even on your greenhouse walls or your poly or your polycarbonate or glass or whatever type of uh, covering you have on your greenhouse and get a fine mist in and around your greenhouse as much as possible on as many surfaces as possible and this will drop the temperature of your greenhouse even if the water coming out of that hose is hot which is really cool because we're using a phase change to cool it we're not actually using cool water to cool it we're, cool water helps don't get me wrong but the phase change is where the real cooling comes from today in my greenhouse we got over 40 degrees and I started to panic because I had I've been working on an evaporative cooler but it's not done yet I mean you know like everything it takes a while for me to get my ass in gear and finish stuff so this isn't finished and I've got too much heat in my greenhouse I've got several fans in my greenhouse that exhale hair and exhale air and it pulls air in from the bottom and shoots it out the top but it wasn't enough I mean it was we're in a small heat wave here where it's 32, 30 de 32 to 33 degrees Celsius outside. For Manitoba, we're not, we're polar bears. We're not meant for this kind of heat. And inside the greenhouse, it got over 40. So I had to cool that down immediately. What I did was I used my hose. I just turned my hose to the misting function and I sprayed down not only all the leaves but I sprayed down the concrete on the ground and I sprayed down the poly, the double air inflated poly walls. And to my amazement, it didn't even take a few minutes. It went from over 40 degrees down to 34 fast. It was impressive. And what's really nice is I did this in the late afternoon and it kept that temperature until evening even though it still had the sun on it for many more hours because at this time of year in Manitoba we get sunlight till 10 p.m. Um, it's bright out I mean and then you got twilight till about 11 I mean we're just past the equinox and the sun shines and when there's no clouds and the sun shining all day that greenhouse heats up because it it's light early in the morning as well six five six in the morning it's full light so that's what I did today as you can see in the little videos on the side here and it's something to keep in mind if you start getting into a very hot situation that's not good for your plants and plant growth you can just use your hose and most hose nozzles have a mister setting or a, a, a fog like fine setting and that's good enough to get your plants wet to get the phase change going where doesn't a mister work well if we look at my situation and if you look at the charts i have on the side here from my phone um, it charts temperature as well as it charts humidity and during the day where I live in Manitoba even though I'm on the lake and it's a big lake um, the humidity is only running in the 30% range this is beautiful 
for a mister to work because when you can see by the chart when I turned on the the hose with the misting function and sprayed down all my leaves it did immediately drop my temperature by about six degrees Celsius fantastic it got me into the range where I felt comfortable for my plants but the humidity jumped over 30 percent almost immediately as well putting me to a point where I couldn't actually get much more cooling because I got over that 60-65% range. So this is a problem with misters if you're in Florida or you're in a high humidity environment. They're not going to work well. Like if you look at my humidity charts, our humidity goes very high at night. And at nighttime, I don't need as much cooling here. So it's not really a problem. But if you're in an area with a lot more heat than we have and your humidity jumps at night, you're going to have to look at something else to cool it. But if you're where I live, it's not a problem at night. I mean, you know, our hottest nights never get much over 25 degrees Celsius. So, I mean, this is perfect for the plants. And then if the humidity drops for me, I'm great because I can actually use a mister to drop me another five, six degrees. Now, climate change might make this a major problem in the next few years to come, but it works well here. It'll work well for you if your humidity is similar to mine or drier than mine. But if you're running over 65% humidity, you're going to have a problem with a mister and evaporative cooling. An evaporative cooler is pretty much the same concept as a mister, but it just runs water through a sponge-like material that you put a fan behind to evaporate the water and give you the cooling effect. Um, they work. I'm actually building one right now, but when I saw how fast today I could drop the temperature of my greenhouse with my hose, I actually gave in and I bought uh, a misting line for 30 bucks from Amazon. What can I say? I mean, you know, it worked well and it did what I needed it to do. Plus you get the bonus of a little more water on your plants and, you know, plants like to drink and plants like water. <laughs>